I think that it is so extraordinary that So You Think You Can Dance is in its 10th season because um, we are maintaining an ongoing conversation culturally about dance, about the nature of dance, um, and about um, and its validity with you know within our our culture. And you know, for so many years, dance had virtually disappeared from the cultural scene, uh, certainly on television and movies, uh, again, virtually. Um, and uh, now, you know, there's uh, So You Think You Can Dance in, I, I, it's over a hundred countries now. So it's, it's really extraordinary. It's really extraordinary. It's a global phenomenon. And I wouldn't have guessed it would have lasted 10 seasons because very few things last 10 seasons, you know, in the world. So. Um, the fact that we're here talking about this right now is phenomenal. What the audience is going to see in season 10 is basically what they've come to love about the show. is just this extraordinary uh, amount of talent sort of blasting in their face. These kids just get better and better and better every year, and this year is going to be no different. I went to one of the cities, I went to Boston, and we had some tremendous talent that showed up there. Um, it was actually very, very surprising. I remember I put through, or I was part of putting through more people than I've ever put through in any other city, other than maybe LA. The real draw for the show is the talent. I mean, the, the kids work so hard. Their dedication level is so clear and so apparent. And um, their work ethic, outstanding. And what they do is, you know, heroic, really. So it, the, people really want to talk about the kids. When I talk to people, they really want to talk about the contestants.